undaunted faith in Matthew chapter 9, verse 1 through 2. Getting into a boat, Jesus crossed over the sea and came to his own city. And they brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, Take courage, son. Your sins are forgiven. Christianity's most distinctive message is the truth that God can forgive sin. The essence of the gospel is that Christ's atoning death can free people from the penalty of sin. If Jesus can heal diseases and disabilities, he can surely provide cleansing for the consequences of sin. The men who brought the paralytic to the Lord undoubtedly believe this very strongly. Those with crippling disabilities have always had to endure social stigma and neglect. But in the Jewish culture of Jesus' day and much earlier, the stigma was especially pronounced because everyone believed chronic ailments stemmed directly from someone's sin. Bildad told Job, if your son sins against him, then he delivered them in the power of their transgression. Found in Job chapter 8 verse 4 and also chapter 4 verse 7 and John chapter 9 verse 1 through 2. The paralytic here likely had the same understanding concerning sin and disease. He was determined at any cost to see Jesus for forgiveness and a result physical healing. Christ saw the determination of his faith as his friends worked through the crowd to get the paralytic in front of him. That aggressive approach revealed their hearts of faith and all his physical ugliness and spiritual neediness. The man threw himself upon Jesus' mercy. The paralyzed man came to the Lord in true humility and poverty of spirit, which God requires of all seeking hearts, found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Jesus sometimes healed people of little faith, but he was especially willing to heal those of great faith, as with the men and his friends. Now I want you to ask yourself, why does God choose to work through our faith? Why would he want to include our cooperation as part of his healing activity? What might he be requiring of you as he deals with a certain need in your life? Amen. God bless you. Until next time.